Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sahiti Balmuri, Consultant Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon at Kim's Hospitals, Gachibali. Today, let's discuss about some myths and realities related to hypothyroidism in pregnancy. Myth number one, pregnancy is not possible in women with hypothyroidism. In reality, hypothyroidism can cause ovulatory dysfunction which can lead to irregular periods. But once this is identified and corrected, pregnancy is very much possible. Myth number two. Once a woman gets her thyroid test done in pregnancy, if the level of the thyroid hormones are in accordance with the laboratory reference ranges, it is normal. But no, in reality that is not true. In pregnancy, the cutoff values are much lower than the laboratory reference ranges. The laboratory reference ranges are given for normal population and not pregnant women. Myth number three. In women who are already diagnosed with hypothyroidism, the treatment needs to be stopped in pregnancy. That is false. Once a woman conceives, it is very essential to check for your thyroid levels again and adjust the dose accordingly. The thyroid hormone has to be supplemented throughout pregnancy because the baby which is growing in the womb requires thyroid hormones for the growth. And if the sufficient amount of thyroid hormone is not given, the growth of the baby may be affected. Hence, it is very essential to continue your thyroid medication during your pregnancy. Myth number four, women who are diagnosed with hypothyroidism in pregnancy need to stop their treatment after delivery. No, this is not true. The hypothyroidism in pregnancy can sometimes continue beyond also. The thyroid hormone which is supplemented is secreted in very small quantities in breast milk. But it is very essential to continue the thyroid supplementation until at least six weeks after delivery. And the tests have to be repeated and some women may require to continue the thyroid hormones after the pregnancy also. Thank you.